Hey family, how's everybody doing today? God bless you. Um, I have a awesome couple of dreams I want to share with you guys today. Um, I had a very busy couple of nights dream-wise, um, and it, it, it was a little a little rough getting up the, these couple of mornings, and because um, it, it was it was just a lot a lot of tossing and turning the Lord talking to me waking up in the middle of the night and doing things in spirit um talking to angels it was it, all kinds of stuff but so um I have some very interesting dreams um a couple personal dreams but um but there's one big one I'm going to share first that, that I feel is for all of us. And um, so I'm going to just go into the dream. So so it started off, I, I was I was driving on this street in a town, a well-known town in, in uh, southern New Jersey called Cherry Hill. So I believe the significance of God telling me that this was Cherry Hill is is mostly the fact that I, like there's there's so many verses that talk so much scripture that talks about like the holy hill of God and then there's verses that talk about the holy mountain of God so I'm going to get to that so then after I realized that I knew that I was in Cherry Hill and I was driving on the street then I got out the car and I saw other people pulling their cars to the side of the road like they were in like SUVs and stuff like that and and I've been having a lot of dreams about SUVs too or or black jeeps or stuff like that but but anyway um so then after I got out the car and I saw these other cars pulling to the side then I started running down the street and I ran until I got up to the foot of this mountainside. So I, this mountain, it was this mountainside. It was so steep and and rocky, like it was a really rough terrain. And so I start to climb up this uh, steep mountainside, and I saw that there were others climbing up this mountain too. And it was so steep at one point. Like, it felt like the slope, it was like an inverted slope. So instead of sloping like this, it was like this. And I'm climbing up this way, trying to hold on as tight as I can. Um, and Because I felt like I was going to fall off backwards. And um, I was about to give up. But then I gained my strength together. and And I just went harder and went as hard as I could. Until I, I got to the top finally. And I saw an opening. So I, I, I saw this opening when I got to the top. Like it was like the opening into this cave or something. So I went in, I went over and I looked inside to see that there were many people. And I knew and I knew all these people. Like I, I saw them and I instantly knew like I knew all these people. And they were all huddled down inside what looked like this little room. So I looked up some things um, that I could give you guys an idea of what I saw. And what I had wrote was that it looked like a little room and they were low inside of it like it was a cave cavern. But it wasn't so much like a cavern. Um, I guess you can say it was kind of like a little cellar. It looked like a little cellar. And I know the, the the Bible talks about cellars. And also, cellars are well known for for putting wine in. So that's a kind of a a given there. Um, a clue, if you will. And it was, or, or it could also be like a, a, a grotto, a grotto, whatever, you, however you say that. So... Um, there was, I noticed that there was this lat. it was like a ladder, um, that went across the ceiling of this room and all the people are down at the bottom and 
like I, I knew I wanted to go in there with them. So I, I reached over to grab this this ladder that was going across the ceiling. And it it looked like it was built into the ceiling. And um it was kind of hard to reach it uh, or hard to grab onto it because like I couldn't grip it. It it was more almost like the rafters of the of the ceiling, but it was like a ladder. And um um I was trying to grab it, but um I couldn't get a good grip and I, I felt like I was gonna slip. But then as that happened, um as I felt like that, everybody it was like everybody knew, like they could feel what I knew what I was thinking and knew what I felt. And they all raised their hands up to grab me. And, um, and like, they all put their arms up and just kind of helped me come in. Like, they all pulled me down. and Well, not pulled me down, but they, like, let me down inside of this little room with them. And, and I noticed, like, the way they, when I was looking over at everybody inside this room, it looked like they were, like, they were worshiping and praising. And, um, because they all just, they were just all huddled around. And I, like, I don't even know how to explain it. It just, it just, you could feel like this love and energy inside this room. Like we were, everybody was huddled together and just, I, I don't even know how to explain it, but it was, I could tell, it just felt like it was worship and praise going on inside this room. So I feel like this was the 144,000. I feel like this was the bride of, of Christ that was inside this room. And this room represented, um, God's holy place or God's God's temple, God um on on the whole on the mount or inside of the mountain or you know being being in the 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 holy place of God being you know in communion with God. So um I noticed that I noticed one of my friends uh Marquise was in there and um after everybody grabbed me and pulled me down in um i had told them that i had just climbed up this mountainside and then everybody was got all excited and they were like they were like just just real excited and happy that i had conquered the challenge cuz it was like a it was like a challenge to climb up this mountain and um and it was like you you would get rewarded if you climbed the mountain if you made it to the top of the mountain so, and the reward was almost like was part part of the reward was coming in there, um, where where everybody was at. So, uh, once we got in, once all that happened, it had changed, and and then we were sitting inside a cafeteria. So, um, I know I've talked told you guys about uh, many many dreams of being in cafeterias and I know that's that definitely represents um a, a holy place a, a a place of preparation and uh a, almost preparation like waiting or preparation like the the in between when you're like going from one one season to another season or when you're about to go into something um that God's preparing you for um, and that's what the whole cooking the food is and stuff like that. Cause I remember before I was told that, um, angels or, or when I see cooks or, uh, uh, chefs or something like that in my dream, those, those are angels. So they're helping prepare, um, like as they're preparing the food, that food is like the word to help and give me the word, helping equip me um, with whatever my my next uh, season is. So, so that's what the cafeteria represented. And so I'm in this cafeteria with everybody, and we go to sit down, and we're sitting down at this table, and it's like me. And then a couple other people, my friends on the ones on the other side. And what was weird is my my grandma was sitting next to me, and uh, and then like I saw some of my family members, and another of my family members was sitting like on the other side of my grandma. And my grandma was sitting next to me, and like she wanted me to come closer to her, and she kept hold, she kept like 
rubbing my hand and like wanting to hold my hand and stuff. So I thought that was kind of weird, but um, but interesting. And and then we I'm having this conversation with uh the the people at the table and one of the uh people at the table one of the guys at the table started talk saying something about aliens and i started to tell him about that aliens were just demons but i got the feeling that he either wasn't a christian or he wasn't or he was like a new christian so he didn't really understand you know deeper things so i didn't want to confuse him and go too deep so I started to ask him, I had asked him, um, do you believe in, I was like, well, first of all, do you even, do you believe in spirits? And he had said, I think he said yes, or he had said something. He answered me somehow. And I had went to tell him that I was going to say something like that there were bad, I was going, I was starting to explain that there were good spirits and there were bad spirits. And I was trying to lead that up into aliens really being demons. So, um, then I noticed that there was a long line, there was a line of, of people going to get food, like, like almost like it was a, like if you go to the cafeteria and, and you go up to order your food and, um, you know, you have to wait in line, almost like it's a buffet line or something like that. Um, well, there were people waiting in line to get food. And then it was our turn, like our table got called. So we went up into the line and then I was talking to this girl in the line and we were joking about something. And it was it was weird because there was like this, there were these these chairs and I kept calling, we were calling them uh big butt chairs or big seat chairs or something like that. It was that, that was just some humor because the Lord sometimes puts, a lot of times puts humor in uh, these dreams. Um, so I, I definitely believe the Lord has a, has a sense of humor, but, but then I had woke up somewhere after that. So as I was saying, um, you know, what I've come to understand now, or what I believe, is that this, we we have almost like a, it's it's like, it's like a, a step, like we have steps, um, in, in our, in our walk, and I feel like it starts off as though we we're either walking or we're driving like we're driving first we're in a car we're in a car because um like we need the vehicle for us to get from from one place to another so that like that's our ministry and then then we get out the car and this is the same thing I saw in the dream then we get out the car and and we're walking and then we're walking um we're walking this ministry out we're walking our faith out and then after that, we start running. Once we start getting deeper into the Word, start growing in our relationship and understanding, and God gives us wisdom and things like that, um, then we start running. We start sprinting. And and then we get to the mountain. And once you get to the mountain, that's I feel like that's like the last, that's like almost the last step. Then you're climbing. Then you have to start climbing the mountain. Because I had a dream a long time ago where um one of my friends was telling me that he was he he said to me that he had missed he he said he used to run all the time but he hadn't ran in a while and he missed the way his legs felt when he ran so and then I told him in the dream like I got down um like I was doing the exercise mountain climber the mountain climbers exercise and I said to him that if you're if you want to run or if you can't run do mountain climbers instead and i knew that was rep i was saying i was telling him to start climbing mountain so this is where i feel like the lord was telling me that we're we're on, we're like at the last step just like the last few dreams i was telling you about like when i had that countdown dream recently and um the lord was saying we were five steps away from 
from heaven. And I feel like this was why he showed me the mountain. I was showing me, excuse me, climbing the mountain and conquering the mountain and getting to the top of the mountain and then going inside the mountain with everybody. And that was being inside of the holy place with the Lord. So, so here's some scripture on all this. So Psalm 24, 3 says, Who may ascend into the hill of the Lord? And who may stand in his holy place? So the hill, that's why I knew I was in Cherry Hill. And then when, he, when uh, the scripture says, And who may stand in his holy place? The holy place, that's when I was inside of this little room, this little cellar, if you will, um, with all the new wine skins, all the new wine inside of this this little room. So then, Isaiah two, one to three. The word that Isaiah the son of Amos saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem, and it shall come to pass in the last days that the mountain of the Lord's house shall be established in the top of the mountains. And shall be exalted above the hills, and all nations shall follow unto it. And many people shall go and say, Come ye and let us go up to the top, go up to the mountain of the Lord, to the house of the God of Jacob, and he will teach us of his ways, and we will walk in his paths. For out of Zion shall go forth the law, and the word of the Lord. From Jerusalem so I also feel like these some of these people that were in there were the daughter of Zion because the Lord gave me a dream about that um, recently too but I'm share that in another in another uh, video so um so that was the that was the the dream I wanted to share about that I felt represented everybody was was for everybody and it was just a really awesome dream. So just real quick, I want to share the, the um a couple other dreams that I had. Um, so um I had this dream. Well, this I had this vision because I got was I, I had woke up at this point, and I went to go back to sleep, or I went to lay my head down, and and then as I laid my head down and closed my eyes, I started to see and see things, like I saw these people, and I saw this woman moving. And then I realized that I was inside a room and I knew I was in my living quarters and I was with and then and then I knew I was with other trainees and I saw that there was a gun range like um, well, actually I didn't see the gun range but I saw this woman and she was standing like she was in a gun range like she was holding the gun and she was shooting the gun off and I saw that there other people were lined up doing the same thing but they were on they were lined up on their bunk beds shooting at the gun range that was kind of out of my sight of vision so or vision of sight or whatever but I um then noticed that this woman she like sat she turned around and then she sat down on the bed on the bottom bunk bed and she was blonde and she had blue eyes and she turned and she looked at me and we locked like we we locked eyes for a second and i noticed that we had on these uh everybody had on like this gray colored training clothes like like you would see in a police academy it was just like that and um she uh at right after she sat down and we locked eyes I then heard, I heard number 1023 called, and I heard for 1023 to go to the, to go, I knew that they were being called to go to the gun range to, to do their training or whatever, and I knew that that number, I was, somehow I was part of that number, either it was me specifically, or it was a group, like my team that I was in. And then um, I then I woke up after that, so I immediately wrote this dream down, and I looked up what ten twenty three means. So just this is confirmation, like there's no doubt about this one. Like, so ten twenty three means the arm 
or strength. So this is talking about the armor strength of the Lord. Meaning, what is the armor strength? An arm could be a combat branch of, mili of the military service as the infant infantry, cavalry, or field artillery. Or it could also mean power, might, strength, or authority. So this is the Lord was telling me that that's my team. That's my that's my group. That's the group that I am in. In in the end times, when I get my when we when we get called up, this is the part of um, the job that I will be assigned to. The team that I'll be assigned to is the the team of of combat or or infantry the the team of God's power his might his strength his authority so I'm be part of God's army in in short words so that's that that was just bold just big big confirmation right there for me um and then I had this other dream right after that and I was told um, I saw another trainee and he asked me, he said, what is, he said, what is your name? He, he asked me what my name was. And then I, I told him what my name was. I don't remember what I said, but I told him what my name was. And he stopped and he said, no, what is your name? So I believe he was asking me, what's my new name? And I was about to hear it. And then I woke up and I'm like, no, what was it? And then my last dream I wanted to share, um, I heard when Moses led the people. So I don't know what that means, but that's what I heard. I heard specifically when Moses led the people. And I know it has something to do with all the training dreams that I was getting that that night, that morning. But either way, this, this video went way over what I was trying to go. Um, so hope this was some good dream for you guys because it was for me and it's just some more encouragement the lord's telling us that we're almost at the top of the mountain we're about to be in the holy place with him and we're about to get our assignments and our abilities and our new bodies and and just be glorified and living with jesus christ serving him for the rest of forever oh i just can't wait i'm so excited so god bless you guys i love you and I'll talk with you soon.